What's up, fellow degenerates? Mickey D here. Back again this evening with a few selections for tomorrow. Um, bit of housekeeping first. Um, people are wondering how Mad Merrigan's singing lessons are going. He uh, he rang me this morning about must be half six, I'd say. He was looking for honey. And I said, what the fuck do you want honey for? So he said that the the singing teacher encouraged him to when he wakes up in the morning to get honey and gargle it and, and uh, it'll improve his uh, his uh, voice, the, the uh, vocal cords. So he started singing the uh, the scale for me, the do, re, mi. I tell you, it'll take more than honey and God help, he must have patience, but he's going to stick at it for another couple of days anyway, see how it goes. So I wish him and I wish her the best of luck with that escapade. So... Um, uh, just like to thank everyone for the nice comments and there was a lot of them yesterday evening um, it was my first one on, on my own it felt different as well um, I was actually nervous at the start and I forgot stuff I had to say and I'm, I'm a bit more relaxed today so uh, thanks very much and it's great to see people from far and wide um, you know looking at the channel you have the Vikram from India great to see that and I hope he fills his wheelbarrow full of rupees and uh, I see somebody as well there that uh, they're a Galwegian living in Boston Tony is it um, we do call them Herton Chokers or my neck of the woods but great town Galway the best favourite place in the world and it was all over the world Galway Galway City great I'd encourage anyone to go and visit it sometime so uh, today uh, not uh, the, the song years ago my mama said to be days like this it was one of those days i um i sort of knew when i seen uh, called the fairies drifting out on the exchanges to 12 to 1 before lunchtime today i knew that uh, that goose was cooked um didn't run well at all um don't know where it finished actually it fell out the back of the television in my front room anyway so um it would be gone off the radar because it wasn't a great race, and uh, when it couldn't be in the first three, you know, forget about it. And the other one, uh, Numbers Man, he didn't want to know about it either today. Um, didn't want to line up, um, didn't jump off with the rest of them, had to be sort of urged. So, jumped the first one, um, very clumsy. Um, that was it. Uh, I knew a long way out. And actually, the other one was the one I looked at last night and I had a reverse forecast because it had a second run back from a wind up as well. And there was money for it last night, uh, hours after I'd done the recording, uh, 9 to 2, went off 9 to 4, it won again, uh, won handy enough. But um, it wasn't the day for numbers, man. So he's in Merrigan's Black Book, I think, as well now after today. So um, anyway, we'll try and do better. As I, I, I'm just a regular Joe Soap. I'm not... Uh, I'm just trying to get the next winner and I'll try and just share it as best I can. So hopefully tomorrow may be a better day. Anyway, I have, uh, I have three selections for tomorrow. Fairly confident, um, as confident as I can be at this time of the evening. Uh, this has uh, just gone five o'clock now on Monday evening. The first one is uh, in the 155 at Limerick, a horse called Lake Chad, a six-year-old trained by Philip Finton. It first run was St. Patrick's Day 2019 in Wexford, which was sixth beat in only five or six lengths in a maiden hurl. Then it had three more runs in maiden hurls to gain an initial mark of 100. Um, prior to its last run, it was uh, it ran in September 2019 in the stole. It was 12th of 17, um, raised at 93 that day. It was 25 months off the track until the 28th of October gone by and it was very eye catching third of 15 to Lucky Max and Lucky Max won again Sunday in Cork by 4 or 5 lengths off a 7 pound higher mark so he franked the forum that was that seemed a better well it was a better race than this he's carrying top weight here but he closed with ease that day he was at the back of the pack throughout the race um, if anyone wants to go on uh, and, and watch the video of it uh, he was at the back the whole way grey horse he would jump very well in the main uh, he closed with these as I said there was a seven pound uh, claimer and jockey riding him but there's a Mikey Hamill is on him tomorrow so you'd imagine that he's claiming three pound but he, he is more uh, he's 
more accomplished, we'll say, in the saddle. Nothing wrong against that young lad. Uh, I think O'Brien was his name. The only worrying part, just slight worry, is the bounce factor. It's been so long off, but I'll tell you, it, it didn't take a lot the last day of energy out of him. He didn't lose a lot of energy, so it shouldn't be a problem. So I'd expect him uh, to be winning tomorrow if the handbrake is off and if he runs as well as he did the last day and that the weight isn't a burden. So uh, I'd have a three-point win on that. I wouldn't go each way. It's about three to one, so I'd a three-point win. The other one then is at the three o'clock and faking him excitations. And he's... Song lovers out there will know the Beach Boys song, Good Vibrations, Excitations, is in the next line. So hopefully if that wins tomorrow, we could be sitting back in the bath, looking, uh, listening to this, with the Beach Boys on. It's an average handicap chase. It's raised at 137, another top weight, but you don't put top weight on an ace. It's carrying 11 stone, ace. It's only five runners. No comment is in it who uh, Mad Merrigan tipped up the last day and it won but I've never won two in a row before, so why should I do it now? And it's carrying no penalty. Um, that's the same to put the excitations is a six year old trained by Pam Sly. It was um, won a handicap hurl in November 2020 in Huntington off a two mile race, 115. And then March this year in Fake and again it won uh, by very readily, very easily uh, of 120, won a handicap hurl. It went up £10 for that. It ran in a novice chase the last day in Huntington. It was second, beaten 11 lengths by Miller's Bank. Miller's Bank has raised 153, so there's 122 pounds of a difference. It was only 11 lengths behind. Now, I know he'd have finished third because Kazan fell two out, but uh, the Cahill Don was a good guideline. He's raised 138. He was back in third. So he jumped in the main uh, pretty good. Uh, he was cautious enough in a couple of the ditches, but you'd have to be expecting that first time out. So he, uh, it'd be a two pint win tomorrow. He's a five to two shot. Um, and then there's a horse running in uh, air, the 105. Be the difference for Philip Kirby. Philip Kirby. There was a big gamble on it the last day, five to one into six to four. And it looked all over a winner coming down to the second last. But with the horse in front and veered across him, hit him, and then it came back and it hit him a second time. Now he did go on to beat that horse, but a horse way on the outside went up and won it. So the money was down the last day. They'll be trying to get it back out of the bookies. Sashels, I wish them the best to hope they do. Now, I don't, I'm not going to put in a win bet on him, but what I'm going to do, rather than double the other two, I'd recommend something like a two euro Trixie. Two euro, a Trixie for people is there's four cross doubles. So that'll be eight euros, right? And do a two euro treble. So with the odds that's there for a two euro Trixie, it'll pay 146 odds of... Uh, Five to two, three to one, and seven to four, and your treble will be seventy-seven. So for your tenor, if the three of them won with those odds, you'd have two hundred and twenty-three back. So that'd be grand, wouldn't it? It's the only risk in a tenor. Now, if anyone wants to back that singly, go ahead. And uh, if anyone wants to do a double on the others, but I'd call it the Mickey Mickey D special. Uh, when the three of them that I like, I'd have put the three of them together. There's a big option as well on people that bet online when you do a Trixie. If the first two came up. You have an option of cashing out. You can't do it with, say, with your betting slip in the shop. So uh, I'd recommend if you're doing it online, just to look before, if the two first two are up, just to look to see what cash out and you can make a decision yourself. With you. you could take the one that's more and just let the treble ride because you'll still get the double if the other, you know, the first two up and the, and the, you'll have that got by then. So wish you the best to look tomorrow. Thanks for all the comments and uh, try and come back here tomorrow evening as well at the same time with uh, another couple of winners. Best salute to everybody. The time for cotton is over.